The STG-44, or Sturmgewehr 44, was the first true mass-produced assault rifle. Compact and light, it provided fully automatic fire to a single infantryman at a maximum range of up to 800 meters. The rifle fired an intermediary round, shorter than the standard Car 98K rifle, but substantially larger than the pistol rounds offered in some machine guns like the MP40 or Thompson. 424,000 MP43, MP44, and STG44 rifles would be built between June 1943 and April of 1945. MP43s and 44s were essentially Sturmgewehr 44s, with the name only changing at the time of mass production, mostly due to propaganda reasons, with Hitler wanting the rifle to be part of his history-altering wonder weapons. But unlike some of Germany's impractical wonder weapons, the Sturmgewehr 44 was an excellent firearm, well ahead of its time. You can see how it inspired aspects of the AK-47, and M16. The STG-44 gave a much needed boost to firepower for the Wehrmacht, replacing many Car 98Ks. The Car 98K, though accurate and reliable, was slower firing than the British Lee Enfield. The 98K also had a smaller magazine of only 5 rounds. The STG-44 with its 30 round magazine was well received by German infantry, particularly mechanized infantry, which required an effective weapon with greater range than a submachine gun, but was smaller than the Car 98K for crew and troop compartments. The rifle saw its significant use on the Eastern Front, given to units in Army Group North and South, being refitted after significant losses. As the war drew to an end, the Waffen SS were increasingly equipped with these rifles, and Allied troops on all fronts of the war experienced encounters with them. Which brings us to the sometimes debated use of the rifle in the movie Fury. Alright, here we go. Fury takes place in 1945, with our tank crew and elements of the 2nd Armored Division in Germany. There is no issue with how Brad Pitt's character, War Daddy, uses the STG-44. However, some people seem to debate if he would be using this weapon. Generally, tank crews use submachine guns like the M3, known as the Grease Gun, but American GIs in training did receive detailed information on enemy weapons. German Army rifles and carbines are all of the same basic Mauser design. Though this rarely covered the STG-44. Interestingly, a Sturmgewehr 44 can be seen during a lecture in Band of Brothers. In reality, there was significant use of enemy weapons that took place on all sides of the war, though primarily not planned, but rather as a necessity, such as Major Winters here, who had previously lost his rifle during his drop into Normandy. Here you go, Lieutenant. Crow weapon. Routinely, Allied troops captured German weapons as trophies, and yes, sometimes even occasionally used them, because they like how they functioned over their own weapons. And you could see how an STG-44 would be a valued prize. Likely in Fury, War Daddy is using it in a sort of poetic justice sense, though there was little more this movie could have done to make his character more edgy, maybe short of giving him a flamethrower. Get loose! Christian the Nazi's there! Get that Alright, that's too hot. What's this? But was it often practical to use an enemy weapon? In short, no. Using a weapon you haven't done significant mag changes on, cleared stoppages, and have no familiarity of servicing, sucks. Why did you put that weapon together so quickly, Gump? You tell me to, drill sergeant. Jesus H. Christ! And of course there's always the risk of getting captured using an enemy weapon, which usually meant retribution of some kind as it was presumed you killed and looted for it. Though I don't think War Daddy was concerned with this. An additional issue often overlooked is that firing a weapon with an unfamiliar sound can cause alarm amongst those around you. Then lastly, ammunition was an issue, particularly as an STG-44 is still an uncommon weapon. So is it fair to criticize Fury on how this weapon is used in the film? No. GIs occasionally used access weapons, some successfully 
and some foolishly. Thank you. The story of the Luger from Band of Brothers certainly comes to mind. World War II was full of exceptional stories of improvised weapon use for practical and personal reasons. The STG-44 was a great rifle, so you can see the appeal, though I'd always argue one is better off with a weapon they know is serviced and that they have trained on. Using an STG-44, however, is no less sensational than the countless stories of atypical personal weapon use during World War II. I would encourage anyone to look up the story of Jack Churchill, who fought in Sicily with a longbow and a Scottish broadsword. Alright, I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching. Obviously, this is a quick brief and amateur opinion piece, so feel free to add any information you want in the comments section below, and I hope to see you in the next video.